What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Something in my eye. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It may surprise you, but I'm not wearing pants right now. But I'm not wearing pants right now. <laughs> it's actually really hot in my room, so I took my pants off. I hope I didn't make you uncomfortable. Last time I made a video like this, we talked about five free voice changing VST plugins that you need. You can check this video out using the info card on the screen here or using the link in the description below. It's a very useful video, definitely worth a watch. This video is going to be dedicated to five VST plugins that you need as a streamer and content creator. These five VST plugins are not like vocal changing plugins. These are just general plugins that have uh, filters and effects that you need as a creator. We're going to be taking a look at these. They are all all free very excited for this video i hope you are too so with that being said let's go ahead and jump into it actually before we jump into it i want to remind you that i do have a discord community and i need more friends in my discord community we need friends we need people that have memes good memes good memes if you're a good memer link in the description below the first plugin we're going to look at is the Polyverse Wider. The Polyverse Wider gives the illusion of a stereo signal from a mono signal. This infected mushroom wider is uniquely powerful stereo expansion. It allows you to increase the stereo image of any mono signal up to 200%. I actually use this on my Shure MV7 with a 13% increase in width. The cool thing about this wider plugin is it has a diverse all pass and comb filtering algorithm which produces a natural sound stereo image. You can snag this download from the link in the description below. This here is the wider plugin. As I increase this, it will give the illusion that I'm speaking in stereo. The higher the percentage, the more stereo imaging effect is being applied to the audio signal. The next plugin we're going to look at is the Klanghelm MJUC Jr. This compression filter is made to sound very natural with dense compression characteristics from the early 1960s. This compressor has a very straightforward approach and adds more harmonics into the mix. There are three knobs on this plugin. One's controlling the compression, one's controlling the makeup gain, and one's controlling the time constants. The time constants will not only control the attack and release times of the unit, but it will also control the slew rate of the transformers and the timing of other parts in the circuitry. This will directly influence the generated harmonics or the saturation from the compressor. Currently, I have my compression set to 13.5. If I increase this, it will start to compress my signal a bit more. In order to make up for that compression lost, I got to use the makeup gain here on the right. The time constants down here will control the amount of saturation in the mix. So if I switch this over to slow, you'll notice a slight change in the, in, in the sound and same with switching it over to auto. It definitely sounds a lot better over on fast in my opinion. I literally cannot suggest the Reaper plugins enough. The Reaper plugins are the most powerful free plugin set that you can get out there. It comes with a compressor, an EQ, delay, noise gate filter, a user adjusted effect filter, all kinds of different filters that you can use with this set of plugins. I'm currently using quite a lot of Reaper plugins on my microphone right now. I have a noise gate filter, I have an EQ filter, and I have their compression filter. The next plugin on the list is Tokyo Don Records TDR Nova. Nova is a parallel dynamic equalizer. In practice, this equalizer can do parametric EQ, dynamic EQ, frequency selective compression, multi-band compression, and wide band compression. The coolest feature of this plugin is the fact that it has frequency selective compression. This means you can add a compression filter to a selected frequency range. Nova's UI is probably one of the more simple UIs out there as far as plugins go, and it is very cool to look at. I actually have two Nova instances set up for my microphone. The first one is a compression, and the second one is just some slight adjustments for my sibilance and lower frequency ranges. The last EQ we're going to talk about is another Tokyo Don Records, and it is the Voss Slick EQ. The Voss Slick EQ is a mixing, mastering, equalizer designed for ease of use and musical flexibility. On this EQ, there are three and a half bands arranged in a classic low, mid, and high semi-parametric layout, each one of them having a set of distinct EQ curves and behaviors. Some key specification and features are the fact that it is intuitive. There are five output stages. We have linear, silky, mellow, deep, and toasted. You have advanced saturation algorithms by Voss. And last but not least, it has a modern user interface with 
really incredible usability and ergonomics. That completes my list of five free VST plugins that every single one of you should have. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. I would love to see you in the comment section of my next video. With that being said, I want to thank you again for watching this video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.